Hey everybody, Dean Rubino here with Windows Central and we're taking a look today at Windows 10 Mobile Build 10.5.8.1. We just went out to the fast ring. Uh, you can do a direct update now if you are on the previous release. You don't need to roll back. We're just going to go through some of the new features. Actually, there aren't a lot of new features, but if you're on a 15.20 or 9.30, uh, there is now a hey Cortana, the voice activated version. You can see I'll bring it up here and train. Now it still has a beta label on there, of course. And I'm sorry to say, at least on my phone, it does not work. So when I go through the training here, I'll go start. Hey Cortana. And she just doesn't listen to me. So it's not working on my device. Your mileage may vary. If you have a Lumia 930 or 1520 though, um, you know, you should be able to try it out and see if it works for you. Uh, clearly, we have another build or two before that gets working. Also, there may be an update through the store that may come for this that may actually enable it. Um, hey, Cortana is actually a store app, so that may come down the road. In terms of speed and performance, though, this actually is very, very fast. Uh, it is faster than the last build. Very smooth. Uh, really impressive to see, actually. Uh, when you just open up all the native apps here, everything works very well. Uh, you can see... Flickster actually will have a little distortion here because they need to update that app. But things are uh, overall very quick on this, feels fluid, uh, much better than the last build, which already felt really decent. There's some also other fixes and improvements on here. Uh, when you go into say photos, and then you go to say share the photo, you can now get a larger list for sharing. So you can see I have six tag there, my Facebook apps, messaging, messenger, all there. So that's a new addition as well. Photos is coming along nicely. Uh, you know, the performance is definitely a lot better now for pinch and zoom, as you can see. There was also a big update recently for maps, which is giving better turn by turn directions. So that's part on there as well. Video recording has improved. Uh, I'm not gonna really do a full video here, but as you can see how quickly that camera loads, uh, it's very nice. Definitely a lot faster than in the previous versions. I would almost say that this is basically, uh, you know, similar to what it used to be. You still gotta do the touch to focus thing and it's obviously pretty close, but definitely working a lot better. Uh, there's also a lot of fixes to uh, dual SIM devices. So if you have that, um, there's also text prediction that's been improved. That's kind of hard to demonstrate. I'm not really sure how I could demonstrate that, but you can see here as far as typing, uh, you know, it's, it's generally pretty good as far as the prediction. It feels similar to me to the Windows Phone 8.1 version. So um, that's something to look forward to. Other than that though, we're just looking at mostly under the hood fixes. Probably the biggest one is going to be battery. Uh, they have supposedly fixed a lot of the battery drainage issues, so you should hopefully see better battery life, something we'll have to play with over the next 24 to 48 hours. But there you go. You can head to Windows Central for more information, including the full change log. Let us know if it's working for you and what do you think about Microsoft's progress. Thanks for watching. Take care, everybody.